So the first thing that we'll need to do in installing our optical drive is remove the other side panel of our computer. So we have the left side panel removed. We'll need to remove the right side panel. So stand your computer case up and then even though this has thumb screws, it usually comes from the factory tightened down so you'll need to use a screwdriver at least to get it started and take off both screws should be one on top here and one on the bottom and then this right side panel is going to slide off in the same manner that the left side panel did so we're going to slide it back and then up and out Now that our side panel is removed, we also want to take off the front panel. Now if you watch the video where I modified the case fan, you already saw how to do this, but you'll start at the bottom uh, and there will be a place to grip and you will just very gently pull up like that and the front comes right off very easily. We'll set that aside. Next, we will take our optical drive. We'll make sure that it's facing uh, the correct direction. You don't want to put it in upside down. Make sure that it is uh, facing the right direction so that the writing on the front is obviously right side up and not upside down. And then you take the drive and you just slide it in the front like so. Now, what we want to do is turn the computer and line up the holes and I'll let you see that a little closer. You want to line up the holes. You can see that now. The holes do in fact line up. Now at this point, when you think you have the holes lined up, it's a very good idea for you to put the front panel back on and make sure that wherever you screw this optical drive in, once you put that front panel back in, you want to make sure that the optical drive is not inset or sticking out too far. So we're going to go ahead and put this front panel back on now before we screw the drive in. Putting this front panel back on is, of course, the same process just in reverse. Now notice here uh, that the optical, uh, the optical drive uh, is blocked right now by this little plate, this cover plate. And those are usually very easy to remove. If you flip this around here, you'll see that there are tabs holding this cover plate in place. And all you have to do is push on them one at a time and then that plate comes right out. Now uh, different cases may have different systems but in general that's that's what you're normally going to see. They're just going to have those little clips you can depress them and push that cover plate right back out. So that now we are ready to put our front panel back on and get our optical drive lined up properly. Again so that it's not too far inset or sticking out too far. Once you have the desired look on the front, usually that would mean it's flush, you want to double check on the side and make sure that your holes are still lining up. And in this case they are. Now it's time to screw down and secure our optical drive. It's time to put those screws in and I will share a valuable little tip with you. There are a lot of screw holes here. I've got one, two, three, four on this side and I'm going to have four on the other side. Now some people rightly ask, do I really need to put that many screws in to hold this thing in place? Well, 
The truth is you could hold this thing secure with just two screws, okay? One on each side, one on this side in the back, one on the other side, perhaps in the front, okay? You could do that and that wouldn't be any problem whatsoever. However, a valuable little tip here is that if you go ahead and fill up all of these screw holes here, if you ever need some computer screws for your computer for any reason, guess what? You have some locked in here with your optical drive. Okay, so this is a really great place for you to essentially store some extra PC hex head screws. Okay, because you know, once you get done building your computer, you can uh, put all your parts in a bag, a closet, a drawer somewhere, but who knows if you'll be able to find them when you really need them. So then when you go to work on your computer again, if you put all of those screws in your optical drive, you can easily just steal one from the optical drive here and you will have uh, one to use wherever you need it. So you don't have to, but I say go ahead and fill up all four holes on each side and that way you've got some spare parts built into your machine. All right, our optical drive is in, it's all screwed down, and it's not going anywhere. Now, we won't deal with connecting uh, our uh, optical drive just yet. We're not going to deal with putting in the SATA data cable uh, or the power cable just yet. However, if you'll remember when I showed you the motherboard, I'll show you again here what our SATA cable looks like. Okay, so uh, this is your SATA cable here. And uh, if I take one out of the packaging, you'll be able to get a better look at it. All right, this is your SATA cable here. You'll see on uh, both ends, both ends are identical. It doesn't matter which way um, you connect things here with this SATA data cable. But you can see the connector here if the camera will focus on that. It's a very, very small part. It's hard to get the camera to focus on it, but it's that small connector. The larger one is the SATA power connector. You'll connect one end to your optical drive, as I've shown you before, and you'll connect the other end to your motherboard.